Our purpose here is to help you develop your critical thinking skills by illustrating how using basic language only demonstrates only your basic understanding, but by using specific language it demonstrates a much deeper and specific understanding and it enhances your critical thinking. Now under the fuse box we start checking for all the fuses and you know with the power probe it's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is touch both sides. That fuse is good. Went through all the fuses. We got down here to the yellow fuses. And on this fuse we got power and we got ground. Could that be normal? No, it would never be normal. On a fuse, you should have the same, either power on both sides or ground on both sides, depending on whether or not it's a power or ground fuse. But in this case, we have power on one side and ground on the other. That's an indication that that fuse is blown. Pretty basic, right? But being basic doesn't prove anything. So we pull that out, and sure enough, our fuse is blown. This is a visual confirmation, not proof. If you've ever talked with a doctor about a specific issue, you'll recall how they use specific words and phrases. And because of that, you have a high degree of understanding of what the issue is, as well as a high confidence level in their recommendations. Your doctor would never say, basically you have a twisted ankle. Instead they might say, well the x-rays show that you have no fracture, but the ligaments on the posterior side of your tibia fibular, or your ankle bones, are torn. Now if we are testing one fuse and we're going to use a power probe tool, you'll look and you'll see that you have a red light on one side of the fuse and you have a green light on the other side of the fuse. Now what exactly does that mean? The fuse is blown, right? Well is that enough? Let's prove it with the diagram. Here is a typical basic diagram with a fuse, an open switch, and a load. Now here we've colored the ground path green. Now don't forget about continuity. Good loads have continuity. If you haven't done so already, you may want to watch my video on continuity where we learn that continuity means whatever comes to it passes right through it. So, since ground comes to the load, the ground will pass right through it. Now let's color the power side red. and the power will stop at an open. Now increasing your critical skills and your critical thinking is always our goal. So let's test your knowledge. If you tested each side of the fuse, what color would they be and why? Well it would be red on both sides because of continuity to the power source, to and through the fuse until it stops at an open. The load would not work because the open switch. Now back to our basic diagram. What if the switch were closed? Again, let's test our knowledge. If you tested each side of the fuse at this point, what color would they be and why? Well, red again, because of continuity to the power source. Power pushed through the fuse, the switch, and was consumed by the load, where the force of that push would end and the voltage would drop to near zero. So the ground ends at the load. Now what if the fuse were blown? When the fuse blows, it creates an open, or no continuity. So if you tested each side of the fuse here, what color would they be and why? Well, one would be red because of continuity to the power source, and one would be green because of continuity through the switch, the load, the frame, and all the way back to ground. The load would not work because of no continuity between power and ground. What if the switch were open and the fuse were blown. If you tested each side of the fuse here, what color would they be and why? 
One would be red because of continuity to the power source, and one would have no light at all because there is no continuity to anything. The load would not work because there is no continuity between power and ground. Now what if the control or the switch was on the ground side of the diagram? Well it would have no effect on the fuse because changing the position of the items downstream from the fuse would have no effect on the continuity of the fuse. Just like doctors use specific language to demonstrate their critical thinking and understanding of their field, we need to develop specific language that demonstrates our critical thinking and how well we understand our field. So, is it enough just to say basically the fuse is blown, or more specifically, it is an open circuit due to the loss of continuity? Are they the same? Well, which person would you rather have working on your vehicle? Always remember the three B's. Be better than basic.